today I'm going to be revamping this old metal bench. It's looking a bit sad, um, so I'm going to do something with that. And whilst I'm here, I'm going to tart up these chairs. Um, I did these chairs about um, not last summer, the summer before. Or was it last summer? I don't know. But they need um, the paint has come off, as you can let me just show you. I don't know if you can see, they're just looking a bit tatty now. So they're just going to have a quick spray, probably just one coat. Um, so the first thing I need to do is to get all the cobwebs and the dirt off and get them cleaned. took some doing. I feel like I've scrubbed that really well. The water's green so I didn't think it looked that dirty but there was obviously lots of green mould on. So I'm just going to hose it off now with clean water. Right so I've done it. I've hosed all the dirty water off. Luckily the sun has come out so it shouldn't take too long for it to dry. I'm going to put it in the spraying area and then get on with the chairs. It's dry, it's completely dry now and ready to paint. Um, I've been waiting for a day where there's no breeze but there still is a slight breeze so I'm just going to go for it. The trouble is it, it just blows the paint as you're spraying it straight away so I might have to keep stopping. I've put these things just to protect the fence because this spray paint tends to go everywhere and I'm actually going to wear a mask today to do this. Which I've never done before but um, I think it's best that you do because it's such fine particles it you do breathe it in. Um, when I was painting the chairs last time I couldn't decide which colour to use that's why I did one I thought they were all so pretty that I did one in each colour and I haven't got a favourite so um, I'm still not sure what to, to what colour to do this. I wondered whether just to do it right, but what I'm going to do with this bench that I didn't do with the chairs, I'm going to use the primer first. Um, so I'm going to get on now and I'm going to use the Wilco primer spray. You have to shake it for a minute. That's quite a good arm workout. Mask on. better to start in one place and do it a bit more orderly than I've been doing. I've just been all over the place. So I think maybe you should just start and do it methodically uh, because now I don't really know what I've done and what I haven't done. But I don't like doing this. This is a boring colour and um, I was undecided what colour to do it but now it needs to be pink because I need a nice happy colour after using this boring grey.
as if you were doing a really professional job, you should really do underneath and the back, but, um, but I'm not doing because it's too boring. Oh, right, I've run out of primer, thank God, because that was boring. The reason I like doing spray painting is because you get such instant results. Um, but this, just putting grey on the grey, um, I haven't covered it particularly well. I think you would need two cans to do it properly, um, but that will have to do. Okay, I'm definitely going to go for pink because I've actually got more pink cans than any other colour. Um, so. Okay, that's the first can finished. Um, that wasn't a full can. Um, it's going to need a few coats. Right, I did a second coat and at the back. Um, I don't know why I did that because you're never going to see the back. So I'm just going to try and do a final coat now. Oh, Nelly, go away. popping in the house and thoroughly modern Millie's on so I keep getting distracted. I'm a bit bored with it now, it's taken ages. And that is probably just thoroughly modern Millie's on and I keep going in for a sing song. Um, but yeah, it looks lovely. So I'm gonna let it dry and I'm going to pray that it's not going to rain. It's quite cloudy now. I shall see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, it's about three days later now because it's been raining non-stop since I last sprayed the bench. Um, today I'm going to just brush down the chairs that I washed the other day. Might give them a quick going over with the wire brush over any loose flaky bits of paint and then just spray. I haven't got full tea so I'm just going to use up the cans and tart them up as best I can. One more thing, um, if you've got a fish pond make sure you cover it before you start spraying. I forgot to do it last time and there was a film of stuff over the fish pond. Luckily I saw it quickly and scooped it out and the fish are fine. Okay. Okay that's the end of the green. Um, I think the green's my favourite colour actually. I think that's really pretty. Can you see it? I don't know if I'm a bit wonky, I've got camera balanced on the ironing board, I don't know if it's straight, but anyway. On with the next, I think it's too windy to do this really, I just came out and <laughs> couldn't see the camera and it had blown off the ironing board into the pot. My daughter's just in the window <laughs> as I'm shaking these, they're so noisy, she's looking out the window at me. She's just said, don't shake your arms, all your, all your bat wings will be flapping. So I'll keep them, I'll keep them nice and close. Oh, I'm self-conscious now. What? Oh, she said she wasn't saying that. Lift the window up, I can't hear you. Oh no, she was 
She was saying it was a good arm work. I thought you were saying I've got bingo wings. Oh, all that and the camera's empty. only taken a couple of minutes to do this so now I'm going to wait for it to dry move it and then do the blue one if it is a little bit windy when you're spraying make sure that you stand up wind of the way you spray it so it doesn't go all over you